Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stella. All right, we are coming in with our honest review of the Greek Glow Itinerary Jet. We just went on. Yeah, man. With Virgin Voyages. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> if you have seen the vlogs, put a one in the chat because yeah, we want to know who's viewed them. And then we also want you to put down in the comments what your highlighted segment was or your yeah. highlighted what moment was. Man. We're going to start this off by maybe telling them how we ended up in Greece to yeah. begin with. Yeah. So as many of you all know, we have celebrated our 21st year wedding anniversary on this year in June. Yeah. So we had planned to do something really big for that year. We wanted to do it last year, but it was the formative year of our business. So a lot of things just was shaking and moving and it wasn't the time. So it was either going to be Bora Bora or it was going to be the Maldives. So what had happened was, thanks to you all, we appreciate you all so much, is that I ended up ranking one of the top five travel agents on the Eastern District under my BDM for Virgin Voyages. And yeah. because of that, Virgin decided that, hey, we're going to reward you for being faithful to the brand, pushing the brand. We're going to bring you along on the Greek glow itinerary. And I was like, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> now, because we already had our plans in place of what we were going to do for our anniversary, we I immediately said, I'm not going to Greece. Like, I'm going to do what I want to do mm -hmm. and not go to Greece. And he was like, babe, like, for real, you have an opportunity to go somewhere with a company that you love and be rewarded for what it is that you've done. Go ahead and just take take it and let's see. And if we don't like it, we never have to do it again. Right. But at least, you know, you we know, tried you, it. You, we tried it and you took right. the opportunity. Let me tell you this right off the bat. This has nothing to do with the fact that the cruise itself huh. was a reward for my hard work. Right. My thoughts. My opinions, uh, totally all of that different. cannot be bought. <laughs> right. But what I will tell you this, if it makes you feel better about my thoughts and my opinions, this was the most expensive free trip uh -huh. I've ever done in my life. <laughs> that part. <laughs> so much so, I said I probably could have did one at least three trips out of this <laughs> for the amount of money we paid. Let's just go ahead and say before we left off the ground, it was over $7,000 spent. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and keep that in mind. All right, let's get All right, into so it. So when did we go? So we went on June the 25th through July the 2nd. Yeah. We went, we flew from here, went to Athens, Greece, where we had two days where we decided we were going to live up a little bit of the Athens culture and see what that's all about. And then also cure our jet lag, which we thought we did, but we didn't. No. Um, so <laughs> when we got there, we stayed at the Stanley, which yeah. is fitting because who is here? The Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> that was an amazing hotel. Um, if you are a vlog member, you have seen that in the vlogs. I had, we did have a, what do we want to call it? Like a pre-travel and travel vlog um, segment that we put yeah. on for our members only as an appreciation for your monthly donations to the channel. So that was something that you all only saw. So we stayed at the Stanley. We attempted to go to the Acropolis. Yeah, that was, that a, was long... a oh, that was an epic fail. <laughs> that was an epic fail. They oversold it for the yeah. day. The line was a down, literally down the street and wrapped around the corner. And, and it, it was, was smoking hot that day. Yeah, and it, no. it would have been like a four hour wait. So we turned around and went back to the Stanley, got yep. in our got in our swimwear and decided to call it a day. Yep. So we're not we didn't end up doing that at all. So we did a lot of things around the area of the Stanley, but we did not end up doing the Acropolis, which is yeah. which kind of sucks. Now I want to say the Stanley was a very, very nice hotel. It was that rooftop. For those of you all saw that vlog in the members, y'all can comment it down before that view up there was amazing. It was. It was yeah. very much worth the price of yeah. admission. How I found the Stanley, how everybody finds everything, TikTok. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then plus, by the time we found out that we were going to Greece, a lot of the, you know, known or picked hotels were yeah. already gone. So they did right. not have vacancies. So... Crazy enough, the Stanley was 
available and yes. it still kind of had rooms available when we checked in so yeah. which was surprising to me but amazing hotel amazing um they treated us so nice they treated I mean, us so well they went over the top like one time we're like just leave us alone we good <laughs> man we good man yeah <laughs> But um, being that said, I just thought about that. If you're planning on trying to do this Greece trip, we recommend you do following the rules and fly in at least one day before or in my two opinion. days. <laughs> you said one or two days because that jet lag it's is no real, man. It's real. So after you done flown for 13, 14 hours, you ain't going to be ready to get on no ship. Yeah. And <laughs> like when we landed, we were like, why is everybody going to eat dinner? Because well, it's their dinner time. Yeah. We the ones that are all messed up. So. So, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad we came in two days before. Then we got to experience a little bit of Athens. So, you know, kind of can make kind of two trips out of one. You can do some things. We thought the Acropolis was going to be the you know, the highlight of Athens until we got there. Yeah. Being packed. So my, my tip of the day for going to Acropolis, don't buy your tickets in advance, no. buy your tickets there. Yeah. I know it's going to be a hassle to stand in line, but I say that because, because they oversold, they still would not refund me my money. Ooh. I had to end up doing a credit card dispute to get my money back because y'all oversold mm -hmm. because technically they say you can't oversell something that doesn't have a capacity, but it's oversold when you have to skip the when line. When you buy a ticket, say, skip the line ticket and you can't And skip you're the not line. offering it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that's that's my tip for and today. you have to pay more to skip the line. Right. So, yeah. but I got my money back. But anyway, <laughs> so we ended up going to... um getting on the cruise in Athens, Greece. And our first stop was Ooh, Santorini. Santorini man. That was the one that I was most looking forward to because you've seen it all over Instagram. You've seen it all over TikTok. Yeah. You wanted to see the beautiful white buildings with the blue tops. You wanted to take your picture. You want to do the flying dress photo yeah. shoot that yeah. I paid for that I didn't do. That's a whole nother rant. <laughs> Maybe for, for today, or it could be another day. We're going to talk about it. Yes. But the one thing that I can't say about Santorini is once we got there, we learned a lot, a lot that I did not know. Like, like legit, there is an active volcano. <laughs> yeah. Right out in the middle of water. Like right where we are. Like what? The water is so, <laughs> the water is so deep that it takes the entire summer for it to even warm, warm up. up. Yeah, the water is freezing. The like, water like is like ice. Of ice water, man. Yes, it's beautiful. <clears throat> but baby, if you can get in it, you a G. Yeah. So yeah, it literally takes the entire summer for it to warm up. They said it starts warming up like the end of August, September. Yeah. So did not realize how high of a mountain. Um, Ia is, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which is the place where you see the you know the blue capped buildings and whatnot. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna show y'all some yeah. stuff here. So uh, the views, the views in Saint Arini was just uh, they're breathtaking. They are they are amazing. Uh, what you should see on the screen in a few minutes here. Uh, yeah, very. Yeah, I mean it's like something you see on TV and actually get to see it with your own eyes. Now that's on that's us on a bus that's yeah. going up a mountain that only has room, like passable room for really like one lane of cars or yeah. vehicles. And we're going up it in a bus. So every time the bus comes, everybody has to stop on the road to let that bus, bus come around, hit that yeah. curb and go around. I literally close my eyes. I said if Jesus, if I'm gonna leave up out of here today, I just don't even want but to the see it. But the kept showing us that the bus it was the best bus, bus drive driver in ear. In ear, I say I'm gonna have to believe you, man. <laughs> and they probably gave everybody on each bus that same spill. Yep. <laughs> Ease your nerves a little bit so you can go up that mountain. So once we got up there, we still didn't realize how much of a trek it was. It's oh, a yeah. lot of uphill. There yeah. are the grounds are stone. They are marble. It's let slippery. Me, it's let me uneven. Tell you. It's me tell a lot. You. If, if I hear if, you huffing and puffing already. Yeah. If <laughs> if you planning on starting a workout plan, you've been contemplating it all year, and you want to go to Greece, sign up. Sign up right now. Because you're going to need... All of that, like, like, even like Ram show you, like, everything, like the quiz is was uphill. By the time we get up the hill, it was like, <sighs> mm -hmm. it's a lot. 
Let me tell you, a lot yeah, and of walking. That's one hill of probably 50. Yeah. I'm sitting here like, I thought that I was prepared for this. Like, we are walkers. Like, we walk every day. I'm like, this is what I do. No, 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 no. Yeah. And and um, while we're here, um, kind of sad for me to say this. Anybody that has any type of, you know, handicap, if you got mm-hmm. like a wheelchair, motorized scooter, St. Irene, um, mm-hmm. aim for you. That as far as going where we were, where we were, where yes. we were with the that tour, because it is it was no accessibility. It was like so many people. I don't even see how you will be able to get through. Yeah, to be honest. And it's, I have an eye for it. Like yeah. even when I'm not looking for it, because of you know, I I look for it and I didn't see it. We saw a lady fall and bust her face. Yeah, like. I'm still traumatized by it because the grounds are so slippery, slippery uneven. Yeah. And if you're not careful, you will lose your footing mm-hmm. quickly. Yep. Also, one of the things that I learned about being in Ia is this was a part of me wanting to do the flying dress, which I paid for. Me and the photographer just could not find our way to each other because Ia was extremely busy. Extremely busy. When I tell you, I was like, my introversion was like, oh my God, yeah. get me out of here. <laughs> like it's shoulder to shoulder. You you have to move with the flow. Yeah. There was no, I'm making my way. I'm slowing down. I'm mm-mm. you, you definitely get pushed with the crowd when you're um in E, especially the day that we went. Yeah. I think they said it was five cruise ships in at the same time. Yep. And we happened to be one of the first ones that got there. That got there and it yeah. was crazy. Yeah. One, like I said, this is what I learned by being in Ia, trying to do the flying dress thing, is that um, <laughs> most of the time these photographers have us as tourists trespassing on people's roofs. Yeah, yeah, that part. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if you have any footage of it, but on people's roofs, you literally see that they have painted on there. No stepping on roof. Do not oh, stand on the roof. Private property. Private property. Yeah. Do not stand because most people and the photographers are taking people and standing them on people's roofs, taking the dress and do mm-hmm. whatever. Someone that I was can't imagine that though. You coming outside somebody on your roof taking, oh, the picture. taking pictures on a flying dress. <laughs> That's enough to get you shot, man. <laughs> yeah. So one of the girls that was um on the cruise ship with us, she actually was able to meet with her photographer and got her shot done. And she said the photographer kept saying. Step light, step light. And she was like, okay. And she said, next day she knows somebody that came out the house and was like, um, you have to get off of my roof. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, so I would never look at a flying picture on the roof the same, same yeah. again. Yeah, that part. Also, the people in St. Irene was very friendly. Yeah. Now, so regardless of how packed it was, the most aggressive person, if y'all watched the vlog, was the lady trying to give the peanuts. Yeah, free peanuts. Why what you don't do want, you the want free peanuts? Like, because I'm pushing that a little bit too hard. <laughs> I don't know if I can really trust you with that. Yeah, like, got some powder on it. Like, what is what's going on with the peanuts? Yeah. Um. And, and then uh, we talk the restaurant. Yes. Yeah. We, that restaurant. What was the name of it? Uh, Crater Restaurant. Very cute. Very quaint. The views were spectacular. From that little restaurant that we stopped and got breakfast at. Yeah, let me show the food. Yeah, because I know the vlog, some of you guys was asking about the food over there. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so I will start off by saying I just got bacon and eggs because from the Stanley, I realized, of course, their bacon is not like our bacon. It's more like what we would consider like shaved ham or, you know, sliced um, fried ham. So... I knew what I was getting into by getting (laughs) getting bacon and eggs. And they put it on this nice, crispy, buttery baguette. It was really good. Stanley just (laughs) ordered pancakes. I had no idea that cheese and ham was going to be coming on my pancakes, man. (laughs) I was like, I don't want to expect this. I was like, oh. Uh, Yeah, I tried tried to eat it. Uh, They didn't have no syrup, so I got honey. The honey was good. Yeah, the honey helped the pancakes out a little bit, so I ended up helping the queen eat hers because hers was delicious. Mine was delicious. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> but his, it, it was <Yeah>. like, 
we we just couldn't get it to go right Ooh, <laughs> like no. no it wasn't that it had bad flavor it was just that it just it didn't work yeah it just did not work yeah so if you guys decide to go to saint arini man saint arini is beautiful mm -hmm. breathtaking like i said only stuff i feel like you can see on the movies you gotta eat like I tried, we tried our best to capture it as best as we could on camera, but I feel like even the can. camera couldn't capture. You had to like actually be there. Yeah, you just gotta yeah. like soak it up. It's yeah, like it's just it's a dream. It literally looks like something that you close your eyes and you dream about. Yeah. It's 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 pretty magical to be there. Yeah. And to hear the waves and you feel the vibes. Yeah. And, and yeah. everybody had good vibes and whatnot. I will tell you this, and this is not a secret that you know europe is known for the pickpocketing mm -hmm. um so just be you know do do your due diligence and make right, sure just like that you do at home just like you watch do your at skin. home watch your stuff yeah. you know just know that a lot of them are very clever and they know how to get at it you know we didn't have any problems at all but of course when we were in close quarters with people you know i always had my crossbody i actually bought a travel on bag that had like when you zip it it clasp into each other so you physically have to pinch it to yeah. open it back up so that gave another level of security that nobody can just be behind you unzipping it and putting their hand in your stuff um even the tour guide was telling us like you're in a very popular area be careful if you got a backpack make sure that your your valuables are not in it make right. sure that they're you know because that's it is what it is but we personally didn't have any issues but we knew a couple of people that almost had really big issues right um so let's talk about how much we paid for that excursion with you want to talk about that first the um yeah you can talk about that so uh well that excursion was 75 dollars per person yes yeah. and it included the, the bus, bus ride. ride it guaranteed the ferry from well the ferry is free but yeah. it guaranteed your slot to be one of the first people off of the ship on the ferry over to the bus right then you went on the tour and then they also took you to the capital which was fia yeah and we walked around fia for the longest it was very nice um we have some footage of that um yeah, in the vlogs. vlogs yeah and then it also gave you your tickets to the cable cars to come back down yeah, the mountain I'm, I'm glad you brought that up <sighs> yeah, if you are if you are afraid of heights <laughs> yeah it's a real steep down but you don't have to take the cable car they do have stairs who doing that right <laughs> and a lot of people did do it because they were like one cable car it literally goes down the mountain like this yeah um and it's pretty fast i mean you don't feel it but it's just the thought of going down a mountain that fast um and but that view was everything the view was everything and then a lot of people was like when it was time for everybody to start to get back on the ship they said the line to the cable cars was like two hours long so people started yeah. going down the steps and some people saying they're anxiety like they literally almost had anxiety attacks because you're so far up there and it's like you have no choice but to face your fear in that moment either yeah. i'm going to continue going down or i'm going to go ahead and go back up and find another way back down Right. It, it was it's 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 up there yeah <laughs> like you really don't have a sense of how high you're going until you're like oh oh my yeah. gosh yeah yeah it's yeah we could go on and on and on and on about saint Dorini, man <laughs> yeah but we had a great time yeah we, we, did. we, really, we really did, did. I, it, it gave what i wanted it to give other than my flying dress right <laughs> then, so oh oh go ahead I was gonna move on to Rose. Me too. I was gonna say the All next right. thing is Rose. So the next thing is Rose. So in Rose, we visited a beach club that was called Santa Marina Beach Bar and Restaurant. Mm -hmm. Oh, that place was so nice. And, it was um, chill. If you saw the vlog, you saw uh, that we was there with some a lovely couple that we met on the ship, uh, hey, Keith and Britt. Keith and Britt. So cool, so cool. But the drinks was really good. How many drinks did we end up getting? Was Just it, one. Was it one or two? I don't remember yeah, one. Yeah, they had the... Um, you know had the hookah and everything um so this that was is, the best hookah i've ever had now i'm not an avid hookah smoker but i will do it every now and then yeah so this one they put um yeah that drink um, right there was good fruit that I had. infused water in the hookah and when i tell you it was good yeah it was good the vibes was everything 
the crowd was really like the crowd was there just to chill out and have a nice beach day. Yeah. And it was it was great. They took us to the restaurant part because we told them we didn't want to sit too close yeah. to where the music and stuff was at because we really just wanted to vibe and, and talk and connect. And connect. Yeah. So they took us to the restaurant part, which was closed, but yeah. they they served us and put us there. It was really good. Yeah. And just like what you call it, uh, Rose had all the beautiful views as well. But that's all that we did in Rose. There was yeah, no, we just took a cab. I, yeah, we took a cab over there. There was no uh, plans for Rose. It was more like a kind of just fly by the seat of our pants. And that's where we ended up. Yeah, we did end up there. Yep. <laughs> uh, but it was good. We ended up going to a place called um, Old Town before yeah. we came back in. Yeah. Um, Stanley and then went into the castle. Me and Britt held down the cab yeah. just to make sure. Yeah, that... went in there to go to the liquor store. <laughs> yes, because somebody else, what they wanted to um, go ahead and get some stuff. We yeah. ain't going to tell on people. <laughs> so um, got back onto the ship. And that was pretty much. Yeah, that was That Rose. was the day for Rose. That... Oh, yeah. And the beach, it didn't cost any money to get into that beach. No, either. no. No at all. So the next one was um Bodrum or Bodrum. Bodrum. As um the guy told us. And because we didn't really see anything there, and really most people go to Bodrum, Turkey to shop. That yeah. ain't my thing. Uh, we decided to do a um a wine tasting and tantalizing tapas. Yeah, man. Uh yeah, we walked in there, we was like, whoa, we was not. Like, we was really not expecting this. No. Like, I, <laughs> I've never been to a wine tasting like this. No. Like, I'm used to going in, you get to, 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 and, or you're standing around, or you find a little seat, you know. Yeah. But no, this was spread out. And the building where well, the cellar is in the side of a mountain. Yeah. So when you walk into the building, you are walking into the cellar where they actually make the wine and mm -hmm. it's cool. It's dusty. Stanley yeah. had dust all over <laughs> him. Yeah. Uh, but it was such a great experience. Oh my God. They and were the so wine nice. The wine was, was good. Good, man. It was it was affordable. Yeah, like $10 to $15 a bottle. Yeah. Even yeah. the highest one was like 15 bucks. And I yeah. was like, well, 15 euro. Um, very good, good experience, but but I will tell you, <laughs> <laughs> our tour guide that took us over there, right? He told us straight up, um, I haven't done a lot of these tours. Yeah, I just started. <laughs> I just started. My English not too good. So because his English was not too good, he decided to talk about himself and his mama the entire trip yep. because that's With literally- a little bit of history. Because <laughs> that's literally what he could tell us yeah. because he said I speak little. It was the- Funniest thing ever, but you can tell that some people were mad annoyed. Yeah, I was like, just I mean, you're on vacation, get over yourself. But um, the uh, at the winery too, they gave us this um cheese plate that mm -hmm. was amazing. Yeah, it had a lot of yeah. different cheeses, but one thing we said about um Europe in general, their food is so clean. Like yeah. when I tell you, it was like eating. From your grandma's like garden, from their table, from back in the day, like when yeah. you ate the food, it was like, oh yes, yeah, tomatoes. Like you could just bite into a tomato and just take you all the way back to your childhood. I was like, Lord, with a salt shaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so good. Yeah, but uh, to do that particular excursion, it was one hundred and fifteen dollars per person. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, out there, the views was beautiful because. Right off the backside of the winery, they had like a pond mm -hmm. and you could see the mountains from afar. Beautiful. Yep. Yes. Um, next thing. <laughs> Mykonos. Mykonos. Um, My Me fave. <laughs> Mykonos, we had an overnight stay there. Yes. So, which simply meant as soon as we got there, they have a ferry that runs every 15 minutes and that mm -hmm. ran... Throughout the night, all yeah. the way until the next morning. I don't think we left from Mykonos until like 1 or 2 p.m. the, the next, next day. day. Yeah. So until that time, you were free to come and go, when, how many times, whatever. It, yeah. So because of that, we were able to do a lot of things in Mykonos. So we started off our morning by going to a Maconian home. Yeah. Oh, man, my that, God. Oh, man. <laughs> 
man. Now I will admit because this was a part, this was the only requirement um, as being a travel agent that they were like, we would love for you all travel agents to go to this excursion together. And yeah. they took care to bill for that one. Um, the price of it would have been 155 per person, but Virgin took care of that for us. I am so glad that we went because yeah. no travel agent was excited about, about this. this. Now, we was like, we should be going to a goddamn beach club, man. Like, we were ready to be in Mykonos party, and we did not want any parts of a cooking class no. or a cooking <laughs> demo. No. We got there, and it was like being in the movie My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Yeah, it was, man. That lady was so freaking funny. She was so funny. She was down to her. I mean, when I tell you, it was like walking into your auntie house. And she, the first day she was like, oh, us Greeks? Oh, we give you liquor first and, and then, then food and later. Then food later, yeah. So you got to get drunk what? first. Yeah. I'm like, what is early in the morning, ma'am? Yeah. Um, I definitely know how to spot out an organic tomato now. Yep. She taught us how all to, that, how, all that yep. how to do a pinch of salt, salt for real without having to measure it. I was like, your fingers, man, it was, yeah, it was good. Then you sat down afterwards and all of the food that was being cooked and demoed, it was also being prepared in her home. Which is um, right. And this, this was to me was the highlight. Like, it was, it was like, we get to go and sit down at the table and break bread together, man. Yeah. So like, it was what? so good. Yeah. That was, that, that, that was like. The icing on the cake right there. Yeah, and Mykonos has this breeze that constantly flows. So her, where we were, was like this open air, and it had a terrace <laughs> over top, and the air and the wind was just, oh, it was it was a beautiful moment. Like, yeah. it was really good. But we learned some interesting facts that she told us mm -hmm. that in in uh, Mykonos, no, there's no longer anybody that's poor. You're either a millionaire no, he's no. She said you're either, either you're rich, rich or you're a billionaire. Oh, you're a billionaire. And she said, "Don't worry, yeah. I'm not a billionaire." But I said, "But you're rich, though." <laughs> <laughs> and we loved her story. She said, yeah. "You know, she loved to cook, and she always loved to show people how to cook yeah. with natural ingredients, stuff that you can grow yourself." And yeah. So she said, when she told her husband, "Hey, I should do cooking classes and invite people in the home," she said, "He laughed." Like, oh, so you crazy? <laughs> she said, "Who's laughing now?" Uh-huh. She said and, he, and now he want to work for her. And she was like, like, no, 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 no. You go to work. <laughs> <laughs> you leave every day. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh. Very good. So we left there and went back to Oh, where... let me tell them the price. Okay. So we didn't have to pay for it because I just they... told them that. You told me what yeah, oh, 155. Okay. Oh, right here. okay, my bad. You all right. My bad. So we went back to the area where we got off of the ferry, which you call it the, the, the pier dock. Yeah. Um then we decided we're going to go back, get our stuff freshened up, and we want to go to one of these beach clubs because that's originally yeah. what everybody wants to do when you go. Um, so my good friend Britt was like, we were here a couple of weeks ago. Shout out to them. They are real ones. Yeah. They were in Greece two weeks before, before this Yeah, because she had put on a group. And then because she was invited to come back with Virgin, she came right back and did yep. this. So she was like, the beach club we went to, no cover, um, just show up. Yeah, no cover charge. Yep. And it was lit. So we were like, bet, let's go. We yeah. got over there and baby, yeah. we kept trying to figure out how we was going to make our way back over there. The yeah, vibes well. were great. <laughs> the vibes were the, so energetic. Yeah, the DJ was on point. The guy that was on the mic was on point. Somebody had a Terry Crews whistle on. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, it was crazy. It was insane. Yeah, so that <laughs> so you go. Paradise Beach is the plug, man. It is. But it was so funny. Of course, we couldn't show this. But <laughs> we walked to the other side to... Oh, yeah. We, was, we think it was called Nia. Yeah, it was this right here, the Nia. We showed a little bit in the vlog. Yeah. So that's where they had our music. But no one was really over yeah, there. Yeah, nobody like nobody so knew about it. Yeah. Nobody like you had to kind of peep and hear it, and then be like, "Where is that coming from?" So we walked down there, went in there, and that was vibes. But yeah. while we were walking back that, from there, yeah, let us warn you because you know you might, <laughs> yeah, you might. So yeah, we was walking back. 
I hey, didn't I, see only, it. Only me and Britt, I yeah. think, saw. Britt said I was broke my toe. <laughs> Player stood up from his chair, a naked from top to bottom, and leaned back with it too. I was like, pimp. Your skin is out and you just like. <laughs> so when we were leaving, we asked the the club owner um, or the, you know, whoever he may be. I'm not going to say he the owner, but we asked him, we was like, is it a new beach out there? And he was like, no, that's a naked, like no right, clothes. Yeah, no clothes. He, he said, like, no, but you know, in Greece, you get loose, you party. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's no big deal. It's okay. He, he said, you, your clothes come off. It's okay. <laughs> what dirt? <I'm> saying. <laughs> so when we was going through the footage at the beach, we was kind of looking real close to make sure we ain't catching nobody naked. Hopefully we did. If y'all saw it, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Don't report it either. Yeah. <laughs> but with that one, it like I think you said it. No cover charge. Yeah. No. Cover when we charge. got there, the wait, the lady whispered in my ear. She was like. We're in our happy hour right now. So you buy one, get one free. Just mm -hmm. go ahead and buy doubles right now. Yeah. And I was like, well, thanks for the plug, ma'am. Yep. Um, they did charge for the for the beds, they did charge for the beach chairs, and mm -hmm. they also charged for that section that we were sitting in. And we were walking, and the guy, one of the waiters was like, Go ahead. Sit. Yeah, you can stay there until the till the people come. He's, and they, they ain't never come. He said, It's reserved, they're not here. Sit yeah, down. Uh -huh. If they come, you you can move. I said, Okay, cool. Cool. All right, so we left there because we also had a nightlife tour that yeah. we had to do that I also um, booked through Virgin Voyages. And that one was called da, 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 Sunset and Nightlife. Yeah. That's what it was called. Yeah. So you ended your night at the 180 bar. And when I tell you... Yeah, man, this... Woo. It was Sunset 180. That's what it was called. Sunset woo. 180 bar. And it was a dream. Yeah, the the view. It was, oh. it was something. So you literally just sat there, and they brought you out a um, a shaku chiba word. Yeah, that <laughs> junk. Yeah, that junk was. Yeah, I wasn't even expecting that. No. And then they they gave you to um a drink. So they it was only a choice of either the um what did I have. I don't you know. had a Prosecco. They had a choice of Prosecco or a gin, gin drink. drink. Yeah. I, I don't know what they had in the gin, but it was good. Yeah, it, so. It was good. And man. you could stay there for a while. So after the sunset went down, you know, the party started, you know. Um, then we went to the nightlife section. So we went to this place called Little Benny's. And we were at Little Benny's. Oh, for, let's go back. I want to show while. them just in case y'all, you hadn't seen the vlogs. Like, this right here was the money shot to me. Like. The camera just couldn't catch it all the way. Yeah, so Little Benny's was a vibe. They had a um, special section for us in yeah. Little Benny's off to the in the cut, but after a while, it started to fill in with everybody else, which was good because yeah. I I kind of did like the exclusive feeling of it all because sometimes you want to be in the thick of it but not in the thick of it. So I did like when it started to fill in a little bit yeah. with other people other than the ones that we came with. <laughs> Um, but I will tell you, Mykonos at night. Oh, they, yeah. They party till 6 a.m. the next morning. 6 a.m. But for those of you that saw the vlog, the guy that had the saxophone at Lil Bennett at the club, if you have you ever experienced anything like that? And, and, and he was still there, like, later on, he still was there going around playing that sax. Like, you bring a whole saxophone to the club, dog? <laughs> like, what? I said, I said, we know the bathroom man with the with the cologne. And yeah. The, but but you, a whole saxophone? But if but if you take the vacation and you go to Little Benny's or any of the stuff you any saw the vlog off the backside of the restaurant, please be careful. That it is really close. Like the ocean is see, right there. Yeah, I can see you being blind and falling off of that. So yeah. So if you go over there, be careful. Mm -hmm. But um, I, but I think that's that was it for the. Uh, yeah, and the one thing I did like about Mykonos is literally everywhere that you wanted to go, at least for us, was not that far. Right. Um, Sunset 180 was, we could have walked to Sunset 180 if it wasn't for them heels. Yeah. We could have walked there probably within 20 minutes. So it was not far at all. The bus ride probably was five minutes. Um, going to Paradise Beach may have been 10. 
yeah. 10 to 15 minutes away. Right. And then the clubs are literally where the the ship is docked. Right. So you literally could party all night, walk up here right there, and then catch the ferry back to the mm-hmm. ship. So everything was in very close proximity. Yeah. Um, the the uh, Mikino Sunset and Nightlife was $125 per person. Per person and that yeah. included being at that beach bar, getting the drinks, getting the food, also the bus ride, and then the entrance to the club. And then also you had drinks in the club as well. Yeah. And that also paid your tour guide. And our tour guide stayed with us. Yeah, she partied with us the whole the entire night. night. She had to help walk us back up out there because we <laughs> we know how to get back to the to the point to get on the ship. Yeah, because if you ever been to Mykonos, it's literally a maze. Yeah, once you I get don't know if we up, even we... recorded any of it, but yeah, it's some, like yeah, you go here, here, go up round corner, round round, and yeah. by the time you get where you want to get, you have no idea how to get how out to get of there. That. Yep, <laughs> no idea, and and, I, and it's like. Santorini a little bit like it's yeah. like this because every like they said everybody mm. from the island comes here to yeah. party until 6 a.m. It literally felt like it. Yeah so I'll say in conclusion of this itinerary I loved it. I did too it and was, I it, I was a yeah. skeptic. Yeah I loved it. Yeah. It's, I thought I was going to be a, bored. I had a great time. Mm-hmm. I really did. I'm so glad that I did that itinerary. <laughs> that I am we too. Did that. Yeah I'm glad that it was <laughs> predestined for us to be there yes. because I would have never selected this. I, right. I like I told my husband, we I used to go into the Caribbean. Like, I feel like I'm a baby in my travels and I have my, my bucket list things that I wanted to do first. And Europe was never one of those things. It was nah. like later on in life when I've done and hit all of my spots, I could do Europe. I am so glad Yeah, that well, we, we did, did this. That. This that was, was, that was amazing. This was Ooh. amazing. Like all of my preconceived notions, all of the things, like I thought it was going to be boring. I didn't think that they, you know, because you hear some things. I'm like, how are they going to be accepting of black me? People. I'm black, yeah. uh-huh. you know. Um, and a Oh, person- yeah. And, and we did not feel any of that no, at never. all. We didn't get any looks, any stares. Matter of fact, like I told you, they bent over backwards. Mm-hmm. Um, and we were the only ones who watched them do that, do that to other people too. So yeah. it's like we wasn't chosen or anything like that. Mm-mm. So yeah, so you don't have that to worry about. Yeah, I yeah. mean, we did not have that at all. Mm-hmm. And you know, be, you know, I I was waiting and like, when is the moment that something like this That's is going happen. to happen? And now, like, mm-hmm. even when we got into um, taxi cabs, all of them wanted to like, they wanted oh, to talk. <laughs> they yeah. wanted to talk. And then they were like, you, how long have you been here? Well, have you seen this? So you paid for a ride to go here, but they're like, here, stop and take pictures like here. here. Yeah. Let and, me take you, know, you around here. Let me take you around here. And the yeah. next time you come eat here. And I'm like, yeah, we need you yeah. back in the States. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go ahead and plug in the two announcements. So okay. we've been talking that he's been talking <laughs> that we are entertaining the idea of doing a group trip back over to uh, Greece next year, 2024, the Greek Island Glow. But we wanted to see if that was something that you guys was interested in before we even start planning, putting in the details so what we've done is I have put a link down in the description that you can go on our website, leave your name and your email, and that's going to let us know that you are interested in possible group crews over there. And uh, if we get enough participation, uh, we will email you guys and let you know that it's on and popping if we get enough people that are interested. Uh, can I can I plug this? Because, go ahead and plug um, that. <clears throat> Auntie going to talk to you about the church announcements. Um, don't you sign up if you ain't serious. <laughs> because if I'm going to take this same itinerary that I just did, because y'all just heard me say, I have bucket list things that I want to do. I will do it for y'all, but don't sign up if you're not really serious about it. Because I'm taking one for the team. I'm willing to take one for the team, but I ain't willing to do all this planning. And next thing y'all know, be like, Mm-mm, this is too expensive. I'm going to tell you, it's going to be expensive. Yeah, go on. Yeah, because we, we started <laughs> looking at some prices like uh in the uh 
peak season next year, like I think it was around like July, mm -hmm. same around the same time. So like essential sea terrace was running around four or five grand. Mm -hmm. Um, that's just for and that only includes your flight. Right. But we know uh, that cruise lines operate on a dynamic pricing. So as the demand goes up, those prices are going to go up. So basically, uh, we probably give y'all about a week right. to feed the interest so we can start getting it out there so people can start getting booked so that we can lock in a price um, so you can start paying on it. So I, I can't wait to see him and you guys are, are, are interested. And then the second option, I'm going to let the queen talk about this one that I like this one huh? even more. What's the second option? My next voyage. Oh. Yes. So Virgin Voyages has this unique program that has been dangling in my face for a while i'm one of those people that i gotta know it in and out before i can introduce it to other people and i gotta try it for myself before i even do it too because yeah. uh yeah i don't have time for the foolishness <laughs> so version has this thing called my next virgin voyage and basically what they allow you to do is hold your spot with the open deposit of 300 dollars. it ensures that within the next 24 months mm -hmm. you can book any voyage that you want with Virgin Voyages, and it comes automatically with a six hundred dollar onboard credit. credit. Also, with that, you will get a three hundred dollar reduction in the cost of the cruise fare as well. So we call that what is it the the three three six deal? So three hundred dollar yeah. open deposit, three hundred dollars off of your total cruise fare. Well, not total cruise, yeah, total cruise fare. Just that part. And then $600 of onboard credit. The good thing about this deal is it combines with whatever promotion is going on. Is going on. So if Ooh. they have a promotion that says free $300 bar, bar tab, tab and $200 of onboard credit. So you just don't made your onboard credit go to $800. $100. And yeah. then you're going to get the bar tab on top of that. Yes. So what we've decided to do is... Mm -hmm pre-offer this because you can only get this on board yes and as a travel agent i can get up to 10 each time i'm on board so what i have offered to do is you all let me know you want it sign up hit the link do all that good stuff and what you would do is do a pre-authorization and once i'm on board i take care of it i buy it for you and then yep. once i get back home off board i will change the name to you send you the email you'll automatically see the email from virgin as soon yes. as i because they snitch as soon as i <laughs> hit I it enter you're going to see your name and it's going to say welcome to the virgin family or something like that and you have 24 months to book within yep. that deal and just know that the 300 dollars doesn't cover your full deposit for right. the cruise it's just the lock in the placeholder right because if the 20 because version require you to put 20 percent down on the crew so if the deposit is let's say 420 you got to come up with the additional 120 when you come time to, to book. secure a booking yeah but we think it's a phenomenal bill we got some <laughs> yeah we do yeah so we got some so yeah that link is down in the description so um that's to leave your name and your email address too and we're getting ready to get back on version next week mm -hmm. so on monday at 5 p.m., I'm going to be, we're going to resend out the email. So whoever signed up, we're going to resend the email out and say, hey, the 10 placeholders are on sale. The first first, first come, first serve. And uh, we'll release it out there. So, yeah, so get your name on the list if you're interested. And like I said, we're going to do that every time we go on a sale. Straight from the VA. Yeah, there, there, there. Two up. Two down.